With regard to the question of Brexit and what, what damage or good it could do to the Scottish farming livestock industry in the future, that is a big, big question. I mean, obviously, money is a big thing. They've got to sort out the cap review and uh, the payments that are made to farmers. Um, in the future, you're definitely going to have export issues. Uh, and then the drop in the pound against the euro, and um, so the value of the pound's going down. So it's all to do with prices. Our biggest worry is that money comes out the, the livestock industry because as soon as there's no money there, welfare is one of the first things to suffer, because you don't have uh, the, the highly qualified stockmen. Uh, you, you're not bringing in vets as often as you should. And one big issue that will um, affect the whole industry is um, migrant workers. You get a lot of foreign people working in the livestock industry and um, like the fruit industry as well. Um, when it comes to the abattoir sector, 93% of all vets that work in abattoirs are foreign nationals. So the General Medical Council has asked for a protected status for general practitioners for humans and ourselves, the RSPCA, the BVA are asking for protected status for foreign national veterinary surgeons to keep them in here because they play a crucial part. The majority of students, vet students in the universities in Scotland and England want to go into small animal practice. The, a lot of the ones, if you go to some of the European countries, they concentrate a lot more on farm animals. So that's why you've got a lot of Spanish and Romanian vets coming in now who are very, very good. And if you take them out of the equation, that's going to leave a big shot. There's no Scottish and English vets ready to fill these posts. So that is a, a big thing. But I think the biggest concern for the livestock industry is the future financial impacts that could happen unless we get a proper trade uh, deal done.